Take personal security precautions. Scott Savage, Techno Scavenger calling. Oh, hey Scott. The reason I'm calling is because you had indicated that you are an expert in the music industry. Is this correct? I reckon so. Great. Um, hopefully you can help me out then. I'm considering a request that came into the Free Repair Shop website, and I wanted to get some information about this thing before I take on this project. So, what can you tell me about a Lasonic TRC 931 boombox? Ah, it's totally the best boombox ever. It double tape decks, huge antennas, and trademark chrome grills on the speakers. Even if you don't know you've seen it, you have. This thing was featured in many early breakdancing movies and even current music videos by Korn, The Lonely Island, and Cher Lloyd. Back in 86, when hip hop was booming, the 931 stood out as the holy grail of boomboxes. And if I remember correctly, it originally retailed for about a hundred bucks, which wasn't nothing back then. But you'd be hard pressed to find one in good condition for that kind of money nowadays. A beat up 931 that doesn't even work will sell for about 300 bucks, and mint ones can pull down a grand or more. If you're looking to get one, just make sure you have deep pockets. And I don't just mean money wise, because this bad boy boom takes 10 D sized batteries. Awesome. Thanks for the info. With the information that Robert provided, I decided that this needs to be the very first repair for the free repair shop. It's an iconic boombox. Looks like there's a couple of knobs missing. There's something going on funky with the speaker. It should be pretty easy to repair. I mean, what can go wrong, right? What have I gotten myself into? This thing is a disaster. Ignoring the minor details like corroded headphone jack, the bent antennas, and the busted case mount, there are internals that are beyond repair. One of the speakers looks like a rat was living on it. And the cassette decks are rusted, which is bad, really bad. You can't have a boombox without a functioning cassette player. It just ain't happening. And if all that wasn't bad enough, replacement parts are crazy expensive. 
I really should have paid attention to the description, which clearly stated that this catastrophe was found in a dumpster. Just think about that for a moment. There should have been a huge flashing neon sign to pick a different repair, and there are plenty to choose from, but no, I had to commit to this one. So there is only one solution. Find another old busted up 931 on eBay that won't break the bank, and then use the parts from the two to build one. Hopefully, I can find one on eBay that will have all the parts I need. Would you look at that rusted up piece of junk? Unbelievable. Of all the things that could go wrong, it just had to be the cassette player. You know, this really puts me in a bind because I'm thinking that removing the corrosion on either of these two would be a major undertaking doomed to failure. And for all my searching, I still can't find anyone selling this particular part and I really don't want to buy a third 931 just to get this one part but all might not be lost because my Patreon supporters who fund these repairs suggested that I transplant the cassette deck out of some other random boombox, which isn't such a bad idea because as it turns out, I have quite a few of those sitting around just waiting to get refurbished and go up on eBay. So it's off to the old storage building to find a suitable replacement. I am sure there is a suitable replacement in there somewhere, but I'm just not willing to look any further. So what am I going to do about this? Any ideas? If you have one, then leave it in the comments below. And I'll tell you what, if your idea is the best idea, 
measured by the number of thumbs up, of course. Then I'll ship you this retro Sony boombox as a thank you. Or this one. Or this one. Your choice. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on because I'll announce who will have the best idea in a separate video. In the meantime, I'm going to get back to work restoring the rest of this thing, starting with this. These things are capacitors, and they go bad with age. So they need to be replaced, but while there's no shortage of information on how and why, it seems that no one can agree on when. Some say after 10 years, others say 20, and yet some say that if they still work after 20 years, they shouldn't be replaced at all. So here's what I'm going to do. Considering these things are over 30 years old, I'm going to ignore the contradictory recommendations and replace them anyway. All 83 of them. And while I'm doing that, I expect that my viewers are going to argue with each other in the comments section below on what I should have done about them instead. I probably should hand wash all of these plastic chrome plated knobs, but there are quite a few of them and they have all these hard to reach nooks and crannies, so I was thinking about throwing them into the dishwasher. However, I have some concerns. Dishwasher detergents are concoctions of various chemical surfactants and enzymes with three particularly useful properties for washing dishes automatically. It helps break down proteins in food, and it acts as an emulsifier and a dispersant. And dishwasher detergent is the main reason some things aren't dishwasher safe. It's more aggressive than just plain soap, and so can harm certain items or finishes. And finally, in the US, the rinse water will be heated to at least 150 degrees Fahrenheit per the NSF specification. These turned out great! So the last thing to deal with is the rusted up cassette deck and I have a crazy idea. But I should preface this next part with a warning. Do not do this to your boombox. Seriously. While it would look great sitting up here, it is time to send it back to its rightful owner, Quincy. It looked like this the last time he saw it. Now it looks like this. I cannot wait to see the look on his face. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. What's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by someone save me For I pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm gonna drink at this page
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then smash the like button, share it with your friends, and tell me what you think in the comments. If you have something that needs to be repaired, or you'd like to help me pick the next repair, then watch this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.